What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Nick 4K video. Today we're checking out Animal House from the Universal Essentials Collection. If you guys want to pick this up for yourself, please consider using the link in the description below. If you use that link and you pick it up through that, uh, it actually helps the channel and it costs you no extra to do. So if you could do that, I'd appreciate it. Now, I guess with that said, let's begin. Okay, so taking a look at the front of the package, we have John Belushi there, as you can see, and we also have uh, National Lampoon's Animal House. He's got college on his sweater. I think that this is a pretty solid cover. Um, maybe the original art would have been better for it, but I, I get it. They're trying to do like this, um, like a updated version to it. I think it's pretty solid. You know, there he is. He's in college, and in the background there is the Animal House. So, you know, it works out. On the top, we have Animal House side we also have animal house uh, nothing in the bottom and in the back we got the whole gang which i really like i think that maybe they should have took this shot and put it right here instead not that i don't love john john's great something about this this picture here would have been cool to have like the whole squad there and then had animal house above it still like this on the back still looks good but it's one of those things where, like i feel like maybe from a creative standpoint they could have went a little further with it, but it's pretty nice. It, it, it sells what it's trying to sell. So I guess end of the day, it works out. But it is something like my brain does notice. So I have to point that out. Okay, let's take a look at the insides here. Come on out of there now. Okay, so let's take a look at the case first before we look at the extra goodies. So some of these Universal Essentials collections, they actually have a different cover than what they have on here. And so effectively, this is the same one. But the only way to get this cover, if you're someone who wants to collect every kind of uh, certain release, is to get this collection. Um, like I said, I'm not, I don't not like this cover. I do think that the original art is better, but I don't, you know, it is what it is. I think it's still fine. If you want to read any of this stuff on the back, feel free to pause the video now. Okay. And as you can see, we got our Blu-ray and we got a 4K. And so as you can see, here's a good example. So this was the original art on, hang on, let me get it closer. This right there was the original art for the 4K and also like the original poster for this movie. Something about it is so grimy in like the best way. And I would really like to have seen that on the cover of this collection. Like I said, the standard 4K you get of this movie, this is the cover. But you know, like I said, the cover is still fine. So it is what it is. No way, is that gonna stand? That might stand. I don't know how long it's gonna stand. We're gonna keep on going and see how long it takes before that falls over. I don't know how that case is standing by itself. I didn't do anything manipulations to it. There's no reason that case should be standing like that, but it is. So let's just see how long we can go before it falls. Okay, so another big thing that comes with the Universal Collections besides the like postcards and booklets we'll be covering soon, there is the uh, film negative from the movie. This one is, let's see, what scene is this one? Can we see it? He's yelling toga. Yep, that's what I figured. Something along those lines. John Belushi yelling toga. Um, if you didn't know, you can actually stand these up. There's a little stand in the back there. You can you can actually put these on your uh, your shelf or something if you wanted to do that. Collect all the Universal Essentials. They all come with these. Some people I know really really like these, and that's awesome. Like these are these are one of those things that's like, I think it's cool. I don't really care about it, but there are some collectors out there who really, really enjoy these and they like to dis display them on their shelves. So it's cool to have these. So um, Universal Essentials, if you're watching this, continue doing this because this is really cool. Oh, look at this. I got another certificate. This one is 2,311 out of 5,000. So there you go, guys. Oh, it finally fell. Okay, set back up. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna slide it over there. Okay, so let's take a look at the postcards that come with these collections. I call them postcards. I know some people are like, these aren't postcards. I know they're not actually postcards. I understand that, but um, I like to call them postcards because that's effectively how big they are and how they feel. It's like postcards. So let's take a look what's inside this uh, little package they got here. All right, so the first postcard, we have on set photo, director John Landis, and of course there's John Belushi. Nice photo of them. Oh, the back, by the way, is just like a plain, like marbling. Uh, maybe they could have did a little better with that, but it is what it is. Uh, here we go. Another shot with John Landis. Next photo. Once again, another shot of John and Landis. Both Johns, I guess you could say. And then a fourth shot. 
Another shot of Landis with the paper mache from the parade. Um, what I will say is that this is not as fun as the previous Universal Essentials ones. I, I do like this shot. This is a cool shot. I expected to have more shots like this. Um, like I said, I didn't pick up this collection for these things, so I don't care. But I could see people who did kind of being disappointed by these other three photos. There's not really much going in. I mean, I guess the, the paper mache thing's cool. But, you know, these are just okay pictures. Uh, it kind of just seems like they, they had two that they liked. And they needed two more for this collection. So I just kind of grabbed these two. So, I don't know. Might just be me. But a little, little disappointed in those compared to the other essential collections we have tackled so far. And now we come to the notebook. Now, I actually really like the notebook for this because it is the college yearbook, 1962. Thanks for the memories. Thanks for the parties. That's actually pretty dope. I like that. So if you want to take a look at any of these photos a little deeper, feel free to pause the video when um, I get to the pages. I like this. Like someone's drawing on them, giving them horns, giving mustaches. That's great. So you can still get everything that they're trying to show you but also there's the extra little bit of fun going on in this story <laughs> when you're reading the yearbook which is cool yep so it is like a yearbook compared to the other ones i'm wondering if there's a little more explanation some background information like the jurassic park one we did they really went deep into the extra information of the background of the movie and different things going on I'm going to guess that there'll be more of that at the end of this book, but honestly, there might not be. There might just be yearbook pictures of all the actors, which is fine, but it is one of those things where it's like, you got this whole book to tell a story, you know, and to, and to really go into the, uh, the background of people and the way they shot things, how they decided to, you know, cast certain characters and all that stuff. And it looks like in this edition, they just went with more of a, hey, here are photos of everybody, and we're going to kind of just scribble a little extra stuff with it. It's cool, and I appreciate it, but I do feel like some collectors might look at this and be like, oh, this is kind of boring. Because like I said, it's fun, but it also kind of feels like it's the extra book you get with these editions. Like, there's the actual book you get, and then there's like the um the fun book you get this kind of seems like this is the fun book and then there's like the actual book with actual information about the movie and then unfortunately there is no actual book it's just this one like i said it is cool i understand where they're coming from but i do think that they might have missed the mark with this i usually say that one of the best things about these universal collections is that you're not just getting the movie but you're also getting some cool stuff like, the postcards, they're fine. Uh, the certificate of authenticity, that's fine. But the two really cool things, besides the movie, that goes into these collections are the booklet that goes into the back story of stuff of, of the actual movie, and then the negative. The negative is the cool collectible that comes with it. But then this is supposed to be more of an explanation. And I'll say that, for me, this isn't good enough to justify the collector's edition of this movie. Um... Animal House is a classic, but I think you could probably just go for the standard version, honestly. I just don't think that this is worth it. Um, even the negative, it might, not, it might not be worth it compared to the, the previous essentials we've already covered on this, this channel. But um, yeah, I don't know. That might just be me. So all in all, who is this collection for? Um, it's hard to say. Usually when it comes to these essential collections, it's it's me most likely praising the collection and saying like, oh, you get the cool backstory stuff in those booklets, you know, you get a little extra information in those, the negative's cool, you get the extra stuff you don't really care about, but some of the postcards are usually more cool, um, get better background shots and stuff like that on those postcards. I don't know really how to recommend this. The previous essentials I definitely recommend, but this one I don't really know if I can. Um, it is one of those things, like I said, if you are a big collector, you love Animal House, obviously you want to get the best of the best, right? But if you still like Animal House and the extra stuff in this doesn't really catch your fancy like it does for me either, like, I think you could skip this. I, I really don't think that this was a, as good of a um, 
Universal Essentials release as some of the ones we've already covered on this uh, on this channel. So this is actually pretty disappointing. Like I said, not terrible, but overall relatively disappointing compared to the previous ones that we've checked out. Uh, maybe if this was the first Essentials that I that I saw. I would think it's better, but it definitely seems like it's one of those things where it's like, okay, we haven't released an Essentials, Universal Essentials for a while. What's coming up? What's the big anniversary coming up? Animal House? Okay, let's just do an Animal House one. Let's get it out quick. Uh, we only got a few months before release, so let's just drop it. That's what it feels like with this. Yeah, so I can't really recommend this unless, of course, like I said, you are someone who wants to get the best of the best. And in a certain perspective, this is the best version of Animal House uh, from a a physical standpoint obviously with the the collectibles and the 4k transfer on this which is amazing but it's one of those things where you know you, you got to choose with your wallet whether you think this is worth it or not i would say if you're just a standard collector just get the standard release if not you want that extra stuff and you think that it is worth it then potentially the 35 bucks for this is worth it but um like i said but with your own wallet you decide weigh the pros and cons and then Use that link below, you know what I'm saying? Hey! So there you go, guys. That is my review for Universal Essentials National Lampoon's Animal House. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. If you have any cool ideas for future videos, let me know down there as well. Like I said, if you plan on picking this up, please use that link in the description below. It goes to helping my channel, and it doesn't cost you any extra, so I definitely appreciate that. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.